Okay, hi guys. Chef Eva once again. Now, this is a, a must-have equipment for every home. It's called a pressure cooker. This is the lid. And it has the sufuria that is used for cooking. Remember, every time you use your pressure cooker, the outside should be very dry. Very dry, because you're going to use electricity. And you definitely need your pressure cooker to be dry so that the motor of the pressure cooker doesn't burn or doesn't electrify, get electrocution due to water or any liquid outside the pan that is used to cook food this machine is very handy as you can see cooks almost anything you want you got soup you got meat stew you got bean or lentils you got chicken you got egg you can even slow you can adjust you can saute potatoes and you can keep your food warm while you wait for your guests you can also cook rice rice biryani or biryani nyama then you can also do porridge, you can steam, or you can also bake a cake. I've used it, 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 it produces the best cake ever. As long as your cake proportions are good, you're good to go. Now today I'm going to use it to make a uh, goat stew. And then I'm going to show you the very easiest way to do it, where you have your ingredients. So let's show you the ingredients. As you can see, I'm making got stew so as you can see this is got meat nice chopped and cleaned then you have your onions which i'm gonna chop i have garlic very little ginger because i only have uh, half a kilo of, of got so i need to use very little ginger so that it doesn't become the food but it just adds flavor and then tomatoes as you can see so you have your ginger and garlic crushed you can either use a mortar, you can get them using a grater. Then you have your diced potatoes and tomatoes. And of course, your favorite, boozy. Now, the reason this machine is so easy to use is because you put everything all in one. All in one. You have your meat, you have your tomatoes. Here, your tomatoes and garlic. And now we're going to add salt. Like a teaspoon of salt, that will do. If you want to have soup, then add a little water. If you just want your mbuzi to be wet fry, don't add any water because the the pressure cooker tends to retain the liquid from the tomatoes and the onions and the meat itself. Add very little water, very little because the pressure cooker really tends to retain water. So once you meat is in I want to stir it up make sure the salt is everywhere now for the lovers of chili add chili so I'm gonna add chili because I love chili but that's optional okay so all the ingredients are in there including the chili if you like it whole you like it chopped the choice is yours now you Cover the machine up with its lid. Make sure the pressure point is sealed so that no pressure comes out. As you can see, your machine is off, so you need to choose. In this case, we are making meat stew. So you press meat stew. It's going to give you 30 minutes. So once it's done. You just need to wait for 30 minutes and boom, your stew is ready. So I'm just going to shred my cabbage, cook my ilgali, and I'm good. Dinner's ready. In 20 minutes to 30. Okay, if you have tough meat, you might have to extend your timing to, to one hour. But uh, even if it's beef, it still cooks within the same 30 minutes and the meat is quite tender. So no, no worries. So... In fact, uh, Mbuzi cooks a lot faster, but since uh, we want the stew to really come out nice and juicy, we're going to leave it for 30 minutes. So it's going to be on, it's going to heat it up, then it's going to start counting down the 30 minutes so that the beef is ready. So really, this is a must-have in any kitchen. As you can see, it's barely 5 minutes, it's already timing itself, winding down to 30 minutes. Now it's going to, it's going to start the countdown. Meantime, I've been shredding my cabbage, and I'm doing quite well. Dinner will be ready in 30 minutes. A must-have equipment in your home.
Okay, bye. Check you out on my next video. Subscribe, share. Looking forward for you to learn more and more of many equipments. Watch out for my next video on necessary or mandatory equipment in any kitchen. Bye-bye.